I'm Pete. I'm Stephanie, and this is The Cool Part Show, our show all about interesting 3D printed parts. In an industrial bakery, how do you cut dough, lots of dough, really fast, without the dough sticking to the knife? This knife uses compressed air flowing through the blade to prevent sticking. But the thing about that is, you'd have to look really close to even be able to see the holes that the air comes through. Barely visible porosity on this episode of The Cool Part Show. Welcome to The Cool Parts Show. If you enjoy stories about cool, interesting, unusual 3D printed parts, you are in the right place. Help us out by subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon to get notified about new episodes. Today in the show, we are talking about 3D printed metal porous parts. Usually porosity is a thing you want to avoid in your 3D printed parts, but here uh, with these knives designed for industrial bakeries, the porosity is fully intentional and fully controllable. So you may not be able to see it from a distance, but the blade of this knife is completely covered in these tiny little pores. Um, there's a connection for compressed air at the end of the knife. There's a channel that flows through the handle and the air would come out of these different pores, basically creating a barrier around the blade of the knife so that you could cut bread dough or other sticky substances without sticking. And as a home baker, I think this is pretty cool. But back to that porosity, like yeah, in metal 3D printing, Almost always what you want is a solid metal part. Porosity is often seen as an error, like for some reason the, the material did not melt sufficiently. And the company that made this knife, they've had that error before. Years past when they're first getting familiar with additive manufacturing, um, encountering that porosity, they learned what it means, how to, how to, how to avoid that. But this is different. This is that porosity engineered into the system. This bread knife is the company's first application of intentional porosity. So these knives were designed, manufactured, made by a company in the Netherlands called K3D. So they are a 3D printing contract manufacturer, but they are owned by a parent company called Royal Cock, which supplies industrial bakery equipment. So think giant ovens, really big mixers, conveyor belts, all of that sort of thing. Um, and so K3D serves their parent company with products like this, as well as customers in other industries. So for this story, we talked to Yap Bulsink. He's the technical director at K3D. He told us a little bit more about the founding of the company and those early challenges with porosity. So K3D is part of Royal Kaak. Royal Kaak is the mother company. In 10 years, we got involved with additive manufacturing. And it was really interesting, not only for the bakery industry, but also for other markets. And therefore, we decided to make a separate entity, and that's K3D. Uh, we bought our own machine. And of course, in the beginning, we had quite some struggle. One was to design for additive manufacturing, and the other one was to get good mechanical properties and good densities. In the beginning, we failed, and we found it as a pity. And we could only produce 95%, and finally 98 and finally 99.9%. So the parent company, Royal Cock, had this problem. And the thing to understand about this knife is that it's used by a robot. Or actually, actually not this knife, but a version of the knife. The robot knife looks more like this. And a robot cannot pause to do simple things, take simple steps. A human baker would not have this problem. Sticky dough, pretty easy to shed from the knife, but this robot is, is in a production setting making thousands of cuts, tens of thousands of cuts per hour. Sticky dough would really get in the way of production. So Pete, as you said, a human baker wouldn't necessarily have this problem. Like when I'm making bread at home, I'm often not even using a knife to divide the dough. I'm just using something dull like a bench scraper. And part of it is because if the dough starts to stick to my tool, I'm gonna notice that, I'm gonna have a chance to slow down and like change my technique, add a little flour, whatever I need to do um, to, to make that cut. But the robot doesn't have that luxury and doesn't really have that awareness either. Uh, the robot is not necessarily going to notice that there is bread dough building up um, and this line and this production line is just gonna keep going. And so if you have to stop the line for the sake of cleaning up the dough, that's a lot of potential time, maybe a lot of productivity that's getting lost. And so the innovation here, um, having porosity through these, these blades allows the robot to keep running, allows the line to keep going, bread production to continue without worrying about this issue of dough buildup. So the nice thing about this porous knife 
is that we can make 10,000, 20,000 cuts without cleaning the knife. Normally, after every 10 cuts, you need to clean it. So the uptime of the knife is way higher. And we put on compressed air and the air goes through the knife and air comes out of the blade. And you don't cut them with the knife, but with, with the air around it. And the nice thing is you get really nice cuts and also you get no, to almost no contamination to the knife. So the cuts are better. The dough is not even touching the blade. Like you said initially, the air forms a barrier. And the reason that it's able to do that is because of all of these microscopic channels allowing the air to find its way out through the blade and in front of the dough, basically. So what might otherwise be seen as a defect in another metal 3D printing build is an engineered feature of this tool. So at the outset, when K3D was experiencing these issues with porosity, the porosity was happening because of what was going on inside the 3D printer, these things that they didn't necessarily understand or know how to control at the beginning. But now they do understand what's happening, they can control it, and it's still the case that this porosity is not designed in, it's not something that lives in the CAD model, it is something that they're able to introduce at a later stage um, with the, the print parameters for the part itself. So you can change the porosity by changing print settings. Yeah, that can be the layer height, the hatch distance, the laser power, uh, the speed, of course. Those are all variables you can change. You can get it uniform in X, Y, and Z direction, but you can also give different porosities in different directions, if you like. These knives are stainless steel. K3D is also working on a version of this cutting blade that is in titanium instead. The company does its metal 3D printing on five laser powder bed fusion machines from Additive Industries. And the key to the controlled porosity is control over the energy density of the laser passing through the powder bed doing the 3D printing build. Lighter energy density allows the, the powder metal, the grains of material, to still melt, still fuse together, but not completely liquefy and not flow continuously together into a fully dense solid. And the result of that is a, a blade that is is solid and strong and rigid, but also on a microscopic level, has these channels and tracks of porosity running all through it. So again, the material is melting in the printing process. The particles are joining together, but they're managing the energy of the melt pool such that it doesn't always close up the pores between those particles. Um, so K3D is able to do that by changing the laser power, the laser speed, just reducing the amount of energy that gets to the powder bed. And they're able to control this pretty specifically. So for instance, this knife, the blade needs to be porous, but the handle does not. It just needs to have that channel through the center for the compressed air. And so they're able to create regions of porosity, regions of, of solid metal, um, and they've been able to dial in porosity anywhere from zero to 25% based on the different application. You can also change the wall thickness of the porosity or even make a gradient of porosity. The porosity is between zero and 25%. And it depends on the application. You can cut dough, you can cut meat or uh, even rubber. You can change the porosity and each material has its own optimal porosity. And of course, also their optimal uh, pressure and volume flow of the air. K3D says they've made more than 100 of these knives in about 20 different varieties, all used in bread production. You want to try it out? Yeah. K3D says the applications are not just limited to cutting sticky dough. 
In an industrial bread making setting, bread is also sometimes cut. In an operation that looks like stamping, the tool that's used there could benefit from this controlled porosity just as much. There are potentially all these different applications where this coating and effectively, that's what it is, it's the air acting like a coating, could replace nonstick chemical coatings. Also in Europe, I think within one or two years, Teflon is not allowed anymore. So we're looking for different strategies. And one of it, we already did some tests, is printing porous and then put in, instead of compressed air, we put in oil through it. And there you get a thin layer of oil and it works even better than Teflon. So lots of applications for engineered porosity. But remember, most of what we're talking about is for these like automated production lines. Um, and so with that in mind, K3D is exploring expanding the 3D printing portion of this. So not just 3D printing the cutting tool or the other kind of like end of arm tool, if you will, but printing the structure that it attaches to. Um, they're using topology optimization to design some of these things with the aim of reducing weight, letting the robots or or the automated system run more efficiently because it's moving less mass around. All right, let's wrap this up. This is a 3D printed knife used to cut sticky bread dough used by a robot. It's made through laser powder bed fusion and it's made to be deliberately porous. And part of what's so cool about this application is that the porosity is not designed in, it is engineered through the 3D printing parameter. So it's actually being created in the 3D printing process. Mm -hmm. Using compressed air this way, uh, pumping it through these pores in a blade, allows these knives to cut through sticky things like bread dough without any sticking. And before anyone asks, yes, you can put it in the dishwasher and you can also heat treat it in an industrial setting to clean it. That's it for this episode of The Cool Parts Show. Yap had more to say about the ways that controlled porosity is useful in dough handling, other applications beyond the sticky cutting. We've got another clip of him talking about this. You can find it on our website, additivemanufacturing.media, through a link in the show description. And if you have a cool part that is assisting automation, aiding productivity, just something I might want to use in my kitchen, we would love to hear about it. Please email us, coolparts at additivemanufacturing.media. Thank you for watching. 